feel to me that the lawyers have, or the legal sector has, a bit of a choice at the moment. Either it become a, a victim of circumstance and let tech companies and other consultants define what the profession is and should be, or lawyers can take charge of their own destiny and actually become what the market is demanding. What you're finding is that when I'm talking to these lawyers uh, regularly, they don't just work on legal matters. They work on digital transformation projects, training programs, IT initiatives. They get brought in by the business often, and we're talking about in-house teams in particular, get brought in oftentimes almost as a risk mitigant because we know that legal will read, read everything, so we get, they get the lawyers involved. And we're finding these lawyers you know, asking, you know, their part, their project team members of what can be quite complex projects with quite a variety of difficult stakeholders in different time frames. Again, without the, the training and how to implement these projects and what's required. The engineers know what's going on, but the lawyers don't. What about the 50, 60,000 odd lawyers that already exist? Those that have already done their undergraduate law, that are currently certified lawyers, that have maybe been in the workforce five or 10 years, that maybe are looking to actually jump out of being a practicing lawyer and now move into more of a legal ops role and you know, understand how to better uh, drive the direction of the business or their firm or their team, their department. That's what's currently missing and I think uh, a more nimble and agile organisation such as the College of Law is well suited to help drive uh, education in that space and training in that space.